see which is like 350 kilometers per hour with the fastest train I think this one goes to Amsterdam, I'll get down in Cologne and then I change to some other station so I don't hear the noise so I'll probably I'll keep it low I won't talk that much but it was a day of filming It was cancelled. It was from Valkenburg to Aachen. There is a direct train running but uh, the train was cancelled in Herlin. And then luckily my supervisor, he was going in car. So many if I look like this because I didn't sleep. So that's why it's like this. So luckily he was in the car and then he took me from Herlin. But till Herlin I came by train. And then we had the ICE, the super fast train to Frankfurt. So 
what happened was if you have seen my videos like I was walking on the prototype so everything was running in parallel just in short because many people are from non computer science background so all the processors uh, all the microphones which need to run in parallel there were like five and for some reason because if you rely on technology and if you have an interconnected network and you don't uh, decouple them properly then maybe in the main time it might betray you like you might be uh, fall in the trap of the technology i mean this is pretty normal it happens more in germany as compared to netherlands so i stopped the camera in between because someone asked me for little money he was asking for everyone because it's very cold outside and she wanted some coffee sometimes you should not trust them but sometimes it's okay to give some money if you have normally i don't carry cash so i don't have any money to give so the thing was that it didn't work uh, luckily before we went for the real experiment with the students there were very few students it was like a seminar uh, in frankfurt it's called dipf where my supervisor is a professor it's like a research center uh, before that we had a trial run for like half an hour or one hour and then we decided like this visualization is not bad but it's not 100% correct correctly rendering as we expected so that's why we uh, thought like it's better not to go with that kind of substandard uh, visualization we need to debug the problem which is really complicated there are two issues like when you run so many things in parallel you need to keep track of who is speaking when and also to run the google api to convert speech to text and then you do all the analysis so so this is very complicated so it did not work like i was very disappointed but uh, when i saw the reaction of my supervisor i became really really happy like uh, how supportive they are and they understand the situation and uh, so we i'm not going to talk in details about it but we talked about a plan like how we can tackle it and maybe approach it step by step and try to solve the main uh, speaker detection issue uh, by some hardware if there is any because i heard there are some hardware which can detect accurate speech to text and also speakers and then we'll talk about the later part so because in a week i'll be leaving for india to vacation for like till mid january so that's why i'm uh like little bit uh worried about this thing but still it was a good it was not like entirely futile trip uh i had also some positive experiences and i gained some things uh probably my train is there so i will talk to you in the train so good thing that uh, the frequency of the trains from I can do walk and walk. It's not that good. It's like one hour. But the good thing is that this train was like more than around half an hour or more than half an hour before the station. So that's why at least you can get the warmth. It's cold outside. It's not super cold, but still you get the warmth of the train. And the good thing about the meeting today was like there was a team of hardware engineers who were working in the future classroom. like how a future tech enabled classroom will look like where i fit in like a small part of the puzzle so my project is like uh, what i am doing for my phd is like a small part of the collaboration and what tools can we use and what can we extract what information and how we analyze and give a feedback what type of feedback and all these things so they are made more, more concerned about some kind of hardware setup like you have your mobile phones and that will be used to track your uh, vibration motion and also the speech so i won't reveal much about it but the idea is like we'll be building a future classroom and i fit in for the collaboration but so in that sense it's a, it was good to know the team and before i've been good by i say i was very happy that i could know but i need to think about even though i don't work much in the vacation and kind of gives me a push in the right direction that everything is not all right there are problems you need to think them deeply and always solve them step by step instead of 
building up a huge composite structure which even you don't know what was happening inside so just very small layers start very simple i've mentioned this many times in the blog start very simple even if i say it i sometimes fall back like i commit mistakes so it was nice like i got to know many good people and maybe in that sense i can focus more on the analysis and the visualization and the hardware and the audio detection part can be done by them or some other people so i hope you can hear me because i'm speaking a bit slower than inside the train but i think now i'll reach maastricht uh, valkenburg on time and i have my bike there so i'll take it but anyways i don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video and do share with your friends tell them that PSD has this up down cycle it's not always like rosy paths so you need to consider it very deeply before you start a commitment like a PSD and you need to deal with this type of things otherwise it doesn't make sense and don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet spread the word among your friends help each other care each other see you in coming vlogs of my weekly PSD and also all the information in Europe Netherlands Germany and every other place till then bye bye from I can train.